Hello and welcome to Gray & Sons Watch Reviews. Today we are going to be showing you how to use the Regatta Countdown Timer on the Rolex Yachtmaster 2. In my hands today I have the stainless steel version, model 116680. Now most people know the famous face of the Rolex Yachtmaster 2, but many don't know how to set or even use the Regatta Countdown Timer. A lot of people think that it's just a normal chronograph, but it is much different. Instead of measuring elapsed time, it counts down time, and it was specifically made for regatta sailboat events. See, unlike other races, the yachts in a regatta don't have assigned starting positions since they can't remain still in open water. The moments leading up to the start of a race are important as each yacht vies for position as close to the start line as possible without crossing prematurely and getting penalized. A good skipper will use a regatta countdown in sync with the official race countdown to cross the start line as their countdown reaches zero. So, how do you set the watch? The Yachtmaster 2 uses the bezel of the watch, which they call the Ring Command Bezel, in a revolutionary way. The bezel is actually connected to the movement or mechanism of the watch and controls what function of the watch the crown operates. In order to set the countdown time, the first thing to do is rotate the bezel counterclockwise until it stops, right around when the one minute marker on the bezel reaches 12 o'clock. Then, you're going to press the bottom pusher in to activate the setting position. Unscrew the crown, and in the first position, turn it clockwise or away from you. The countdown triangle hand will move in minutes from 0 to 10. Once it reaches 10 minutes, the triangle hand will retrograde to zero minutes. Find the desired number you wish to count down from. In this case, we will choose to count down from seven minutes, and then move the bezel clockwise until it stops at the standard position. Remember to screw the crown back in. We don't want any salt water to get in. The regatta countdown timer uses the top pusher to start and stop the countdown, and the bottom pusher to reset the countdown. Once the center second hand completes a full sweep of the dial, you will notice that the countdown triangle hand has moved down by one minute. Now, most people don't participate in regatta events or even own a yacht, but the regatta countdown can still be very useful. For example, if you're cooking or baking and need a 10 minute timer to check on the food, or if you'd like to see how far you can run in seven minutes. Really, the countdown can be used in a plethora of ways to time anything in or under 10 minutes. And now you know how to use the regatta countdown. Now let's get in the waters. We have the America's Cup regatta race to win. Wish us luck. If you loved this video and would like to see more luxury watch reviews, please subscribe, like, and comment. Also, visit our website, www.grayandsons.com. Thanks for watching.